Hello there, welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you how the Piston V2 works exactly, how you wire it up, how you can use it, and all the uses you can use for it. Let me get into this. Starting off, what we're going to do is going to look at our watch, press backpack, and using the maker pen. Grab our maker pen, and then look at the top, and just press open palette. Now we open with the palette, we're going to press our gadgets and head to CV2 gadgets. Here we see the Piston V2. The Piston V2 looks very di different compared to say if we went to the original gizmos and got the Piston V1. Here is the Piston V1 and here is the Piston V2. With Piston V1 however, say if we were looking at the wire configurations, there's the on and off and there's the speed there is. However this one, this one has multiple other purposes, as you can tell there's a play and a reverse. Now we've got our Piston V2. What we're going to do is we're going to get a cube. Let's get ourselves a, some sort of cube. So there's a nice cube there. Go in. And let's manipulate it play out so it's a nice flat platform for now. We've got our flat platform. And let's just position our let's just position our piston into place. So I'm going to try and even that out like that. What we're going to do is we're going to select our wire and wire it from the pin at the top to our platform. So now wiring that will allow it so when this goes up, the platform will move up as well. Next up we're going to do is we're going to open our palette. We're going to go to our gadgets, go down to our CV2 gadgets and here's the button V2. What we're going to do now is we're going to jump on here and just get our bus one button and our second button. Let's rename these. I'm renaming the first one to up and the second one I'm renaming to down. Next up, we're going to select our wire tool and grab the from the pin to each of the buttons, just so the buttons move up as well. Next up, we're actually wiring the piston V2 to the buttons to allow it so we can go up and down. What we do is we press our wire again, we grab the play, and drag this up to pressed on the up button. And then from here, there's the reversed. Where's the reversed? The, rever the pressed here, again, the reverse on here. So now when I press this, I will go up, and when I press it again, I'll go down, yet again, up, and down. This here is very basic here, but I have seen players where they can actually make full, full on elevators and very nice things with it. Yet again, if we press our configure, we can change our max distance, so maybe we can make it get, so it goes higher, for example, to 10 meters. And then the speed, instead of one, one, set to five. So now we've configured that to that. If we go up, quick, we go up quicker. Whoa, I've kind of sent that up there. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that there. I made it go a bit too high. Whoops. <laughs> if today's short tutorial helped, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.